Hi! In this video, I will show you how to do buy feedback scan with spooky to scalar digitizer. This is spooky to scalar transmitter box, scalar receiver box, scalar digitizer, scalar power supply, scalar link cable, BNC cable, generator X, generator X power supply, and USB cable. Firstly, we plug scalar digitizer to the link cable port on the scalar transmitter. Then connect the link cable to scalar digitizer and the other end to scalar receiver. Next, connect power cable of Spooky to scalar. Connect G1 Out1 to the BNC port of Spooky to Scalar Digitizer. And G2 Out1 to the BNC port of Spooky to Scalar Transmitter. Please make sure that the GX is 1 meter away from Spooky2 scalar transmitter. We plug the power adapter into generator X and the other end goes into its power source. Then we connect USB cable to GX and the computer. Insert the square end into the side of generator X and the USB end into the computer. Next, turn on the generator X. Then, turn on and tune the scatter. Turn the tuning adjustment knob anti-clockwise until the tuning light beside the output coil is at maximum brightness. The tuned frequency is usually between 5 MHz and 7 MHz. OK, now you can open the Spooky2 software. It is important to make a note which port numbers correspond to G1 and G2 before running a buy feedback. You can see here that G1 is port 5 and G2 is port 12. Go to Preset tab, click Buy Feedback, Scalar Digitizer, and you can see two presets here. This is the master preset, which performs the buy feedback. The slave preset modulates Spooky to Scalar. Select the Spooky to Scalar Digitizer slave preset GXJW. Go to Settings tab. In the output shadowing frame, set output equal X, where X is the port number of G1. As the port number of my G1 is 5, so I enter 5 here. Go to Control tab, tick Overrides Generator and choose G2. Then go to Preset tab. Select the Spooky2 Scalar Digitizer Master Preset GXJW. Go to Control tab, tick Override Generator, and choose G1. Click Scan. G1 will start the by feedback, but no frequencies will be produced. Instead, the amount of scalar energy being absorbed for each frequency by the body will be recorded, G2 will automatically start, causing Spooky2 Scalar to transmit the generator frequencies. It is best to lie perfectly still and only have one person in the scalar field. This field extends outward, so ensure no living organism is nearby. Thanks for watching this video.